Hello, it's Gary here, and today I want to give you some tips and tricks on how you can easily create your website. Now, in previous videos, I showed you how I just go out and I buy existing templates. You can use free templates, you can buy templates, but I typically find that the purchase templates, the ones that you have to pay for, or the premium templates, are typically better developed, better designed, and for me, it's just worth the 40 or $50 and I just buy them. But once you have the template, what do you do with it? Well. This one has been installed. Again, I just outsourced it. It cost me about $30 to have someone else install it. It was almost nothing. And now that it's installed, I can start putting the content in. So the way I do it, the simple trick that I use to make a good looking website is just to start from the top and work my way to the bottom. So I really don't even look what's down here. I don't even think about it. I don't consider it at all. What I want to do is I want to come into the website, I want to see it and go in the flow that my visitors are going to go in. So when someone comes into this website, they're going to come in from typically left to right with their vision. And that means I'm going to have my logo over here. That's why everyone does it that way. And of course, they're going to then progress down into this header area. So I've added the logo into this right side area but now I need to figure out what I want to do here. I can add a picture in here, I can put text in here, I can do whatever I want, but this is the first area I'm going to work on. I'm not going to think about these images, I'm not going to think about the text or this image here. All I'm going to do is focus on this section here because I'm going to come in and make it look good from the top down to the bottom and go in that progression. So once I finish this section, then I will come down to this section and worry about these three images and what text I want to put here. And after that's completed, then I'll progress down here. But I'm not going to jump around. I'm not going to go from this section, uh, jump down to here, put a video in and a graphic here and, and put the text in here. Because what I found over time is when you do that, one area starts to conflict with another. So you put a message down here, but it really should have been up here. And the next thing you know, you're spending a lot more time rearranging, changing, modifying, or ending up with a website that doesn't have a good flow to it. So when you develop the website in the flow that people are going to see the website, you end up with a better looking website. It just works out that way. Now, the other thing that I want to show you today is just how easily you can find great images for your website. So the whole theme of this website is cats, of course, pinkbean.fun. So it's cats and it's a fun, whimsical type of theme for this website. Well, all I have to do is come into 123RF and there are other sites out there, but again, I recommend this one because they have a lot of good images and they're not so expensive. Some of these other places are charging 30, 40, $50 for an image, which is insane. Here it's a couple bucks per image, you know, maybe two to $10. And that's a reasonable amount to pay for good quality images. But all I have to do is come into their search area and type things related to cats. And you see there's more cat images than you could possibly ever use on a website or in your social media. You can come back in and type in cat. Cat cartoons. Again, more than you could ever possibly use. For your website, you may want to have cat icons. And here you go, you've got a whole list of cat icons. So when I come back here, you'll see that we have very generic icons in this template. Well, these can be easily modified and swapped out with icons that you choose from here. So instead of having these type of icons, which really don't fit a cat theme, all you have to do is buy them. And let's see, we could have these, or if I want something fun and whimsical, like maybe something like this. Again, for two download credits, or I think $2, it's about a dollar per download credit, maybe a little bit more. But for $2 or $4, you have all these nice icons. You don't have to create them. And best of all, you don't have to steal them, right? We've always talked about this. Don't steal your images, just pay for them. It's cheaper and you never run into problems. 
Now I can take my images off of this 123RF site. I can start to put them into here. I can take my images and put them in here. Again, all cat themed. And my flow will start to build. You'll find this gets easier and easier as you build the website out if you focus on just one section at a time. If you think about your entire website, you can spend way too much time putting together a strategy. I don't have that type of vision. Most people don't. What I want to do is just do this section because I can focus on one section. I can figure out one section. I can complete one section. And then I can move down here and think about what I want to say. And sometimes I will put the images in first. So instead of putting in the text and then trying to get an image to match the text, often I will put the image in first and make my text match my image. It sounds backwards, but it works. I've done it both ways, both will work. But really, when you come in here and you think about just how easily you can get these graphics for a couple bucks, and you can just put in all different types of keywords, and you see you get all kinds of different things to build your website. In this case, because we have a whimsical type of theme, I am looking for these types of pictures. So all I have to do is take this picture, and this is one thing I like to do. I like to take a screenshot of it. Because I don't like to buy images that aren't going to flow. So a lot of times you'll get two or three or five images, and maybe you can find the one you really want or the ones that all go together. But here's a really easy way to make sure that you're not spending money on images you don't need. Take Snagit, take that screenshot, take a screenshot of your website. And now I'm just gonna take this image here And it's not sized perfectly, but actually I don't care about a little distortion, so I'll just stretch it out. Obviously in the final version, I do care about distortion, but if I'm just trying to make a website real quickly and I just want to mock it up, well, I don't care about the distortion. What I'm looking for is just coming in and grabbing images, putting them all together, and then saying, okay, those I like, and I'll buy those and put those on my site. So again, I'll take these images. This one I would fix because it's not sized proportionately. Actually, I'll do that right now, just so you can see how easily you can do this. So all you have to do is crop it. Okay, so this is what I like about Snagit. It's just so easy to use that anyone can do this. It takes no real skill, no effort. It's very fast for quick mock-ups. Crop it. Come back in here. Grab the new one. And one more time, let's just come back here. And that's all there is to it. This thing is not a final 
production ready type of scenario. It's not a production ready mock-up. This is a quick mock-up. This is just a way to start laying out your look, your feel, and giving yourself just a little bit of vision without costing any money. And of course, without stealing the images because I'm going to get rid of these and the ones I'm going to keep, I'm going to buy. But now you can just see how quickly I've taken this template and it went from being some generic template to being a cat template. And if we just go back to the old way, you can see just how different things look when you put the images in. Now all of a sudden this looks like a cat template. It doesn't look like a generic business template any longer. So that's it. These are just some simple ways that you can build out your website. So in summary, start at the top, work your way to the bottom. Start one section at a time and just get it done. Don't think about the entire page. Just think about this one section. Keep it as simple as possible. Get this done. Come down to the next section and don't try to change the layout. Just take the images where they are, as many as they are, stuff some new ones in there so it looks like your theme and then move on. Don't even think about the text. Put the images in first, make it look good, make it visually appealing so that people will actually read the text. And once you're done with this section, then move on down to this section. But one section at a time, keep it simple, use the free images with the mock-up technique I just showed you, and then buy them as you need them. All right, this is Gary helping you sell more faster with Simple Secrets.